Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now in the last video, I showed you how to add an F-curve modifier. And we essentially cycled the animation so it looped over and over again. So today I thought we might as well look at the noise modifier as well. So as you can see on the screen above me, what I've essentially done is I've added the modifier to the camera and we get this nice kind of camera shake. Now this can be added to obviously objects, things like this. So let me give you a quick example how to use it. So I'm just going to quickly start a new scene here. So I'll go to File, New, General. I'm going to select the camera. I'll press 0 to go into the camera view. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to assign a keyframe. So we have some keyframe data to work. So I'll just right click and set up keyframes. And then I'll go into the graph editor. So let's make this slightly bigger. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete the data from the rest of the channels just so we can concentrate on the Z location. So I'll just delete these and I'll hit play and nothing will happen because we've got no keyframe data, everything's still. But what I can do here is I can select the blue keyframe or the Z location, I can go to channel, I can go to add F curve modifier and you can see here we have a few different options. And this time I'm going to introduce noise and it pretty much does exactly what you think it's going to do, it adds noise into the channel. So now when I play this, we have this really nice camera wobble. Now, it might not necessarily be ideal. So this is where we can break it down and we can start going into the modifier options. Just as a quick tip, you can disable it here by taking the kind of spanner on and off. Nice and easy. Now, let's select this. And as you can see, on the right hand side, we have the modifier options. Now, we don't necessarily have the ability to keyframe this on and off. It's a little bit linear in that regard everything's constant what we can do here but is obviously we can play around with things like scale we could smooth it down a little bit nice and easy it's good if you want that kind of handheld camera look as well this is how we achieve this and you can play around with the stread the offset stuff like this but none of these are available to keyframe but let me just put the scale down a bit so we can see a little bit more and let's zoom in a bit what we can actually do is we can restrict the frame range now, let's say you only want the camera to wiggle once when maybe a footstep happens. So we can restrict this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start this on frame 10. And I'm going to end it on frame 30. And you can see here between 10 and frames 30, it'll only work once. So that's pretty much how we can kind of keyframe this animation data. Another great thing is, but we can actually blend these in. So if we actually take a look on frame 10, it just randomly starts. It shoots up. Now you might not necessarily want that. That might be a bit too dramatic if we actually watch it back. It's a bit harsh. So what we can do is we can actually blend this in. So what we can say is, well, round about frame 15, just ease it in ever so slightly. And maybe round frame 25, we'll ease it back out. And we get this nice easing and then it'll bounce up. So we get this kind of effect. And that's really how you use the F-curve modifier. It's really simple, to be honest. Uh, it's actually very powerful as well. Especially if you're doing camera shakes, uh, you want to introduce noise to maybe something like a pressure in the cloth. So you can add random pressure noise. Saves your keyframe and stuff. And obviously you've got the scale, the strength and the offset. Do me a favour, guys. Like your video, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitter. You know what to do. Take care.